Uh, here we are at PA Biodiesel Supply. This is just going to be a quick one showing you an inverted rotor compared to a normal rotor. Okay. Um, this is our 55. This is this is what every other rotor looks like. Just a little bit larger. It doesn't matter if it's the 60, the 108, the 120, the 240, the 300. Nozzles are on the bottom. Uh, that's what causes it to spin. Contaminants caught inside. That's every rotor looks like this, okay? Except this one. Notice the nozzles on the top. When this is tightened, it's when I pull this out, nothing's dripping out. If I have water, any kind of contaminants, they stay in here. I can put this over a Tupperware container because as I loosen this, the seal will break and it'll start leaking. Okay? And there you have it. The nozzle's there. Here's one. Look at the difference in the rotor. Look how thin this is. And I mean, this is a normal rotor. No matter who you buy them off of, that's going to be the wall thickness. But look at the thickness of this. This is a heavy-duty centrifuge. Okay? Um, strainer. Everything's basically just upside down. It seals right here. It'll hold all, everything, like all the contaminants, the water, the oil. It holds, it's capable of holding 26 ounces of contaminants. And it runs with a half horsepower pump. Pump, or pumping motor. Um, there you go, folks. It's kind of short and sweet. Um, here at PA Biodiesel Supply, we do try to bring you the best value for your dollar. We will not be undersold if at all possible. Thank you.